there is a massive rift being created out here on the world stage between not only the United States and some of the obvious countries that we're not getting along with, Russia, China, but other countries like Germany are ones that you need to pay attention to. Now, following intense pressure from the U.S. and other allies to boycott Huawei products, Germany was the first nation to rebuke Washington, saying that they think that it's okay. Now they're saying that it's the UK's turn to step up and to make a move. They're saying that this is a serious blow to U.S. efforts to persuade allies to ban Chinese goods from going into their country. High-speed internet communication systems, anything connected to computers. Why would they want to do this if they know that China is already responsible for having backdoors and other things and products that they've sold to other countries. Now, some could say that a lot of countries conduct that. But at this point, they're siding with China heavily. I want you to see this. You've got to see this. Germany just sided with France and said, guess what? We don't care about anyone else out there when it comes to economics, military, anything. France and Germany are standing buddy and buddy against anyone and everyone. Now they're talking like, oh, Russia's not so bad. Oh, China's not so bad. The hell with NATO. The hell with you, Trump. We're going to create our own army, a European army. This is what they're doing. So if all Germany, you know, the ones that were on the other side of the table in the last world war, it took Russia and the United States to stop it. Well, well, Russia isn't going to be there this time. What if they're with Germany? What if something crazy like that happened? People are so quick to say this can't happen, that can't happen. What we've seen countries that are supposed to be allies with others flip and go the other way. And another key win out here on the world stage is Turkey. You remember that. There will be a day and time here in the near future Will you see why I say that? And with this 5G, the new world order, so to speak, and the powers that be that are really in control out there have got a lot of these world leaders in the palm of their hand. All the lemmings don't see it. They control all the tops of these religions and all of these political realms, and the lemmings don't see it. Therefore, when they find one, a leadership that controls its people, and it, they show, they report back to the bosses, hey boss, look how we're controlling all of our people in our country. We've got them on a social engineered system to where if they leave their bike in a path, they can't even hop on a train and go to their grandma's funeral. They like that. So you don't think that they wouldn't want to implement that kind of mentality globally? I do. I think that's what they want. And if a Xi Jinping and others' mentality fits the mold, then they're going to use it. And then you wonder why they're prospering. You wonder why they're rising. And there's the constant talk of the downfall of the U.S. and the U.S. dollar. You keep turning a cheek. It's not going to save the day. You better face the fire and realize the position that we're in, ladies and gentlemen, in this situation, especially with technology and 5G. Now, you got the United States saying they don't want other countries to go with China in draping this 5G across the globe. They want that control. The United States does. But what happens when the United States sets up its own 5G over the U.S., but then China is stretched across the whole globe? Then what happens if the lights go out? The whole world will be structured on a system of 5G that is being rolled out by the Chinese, except for our country. This is some of the latest, guys. I'm going to leave a link. Make sure to follow me on Twitter for more. Things definitely getting interesting, and make sure that you're following me on my other channel, Dabu777. Follow me on Twitter for the latest updates. And if you guys want to join us in the flesh... For the first ever Knowledge Conference, March 30th, the Cincinnati area, hit me up, dabu7yahoo.com. Very few tickets left. Can't wait for this event. Get to get together with a lot of like-minded individuals to discuss topics we can't talk about out here on some of these platforms. Much love.